Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, we had a severe thunderstorm warning in effect up in St. Lawrence County and things are looking a little bit better. Now still thunderstorms around. It doesn't look like they're severe at this point, but you know, we're still looking at some pretty hefty wind gusts over 45, 50 miles an hour. Certainly possible with this storm that's very close to Norfolk right now, making its way to the north and the east. So it's about five minutes from North Lawrence, Moira, about 12 minutes, South Bombay, about 21. If this stays together, you're certainly going to see some downpours from this. You're going to get a pretty good lightning show, I think, as well. Meanwhile, south of that area of thunderstorms, we've got some more action happening. Tupper Lake, I know you guys right now getting nailed. How about this? About 14 minutes from Saranac Lake as the Tri Lakes are getting set to kind of get blasted here. 21 minutes from Lake Placid. Again, this is not severe stuff, but you're going to have a pretty good show, I think, with that as well. So bottom line is we're watching this area of thunderstorms that we think will die off with time here because the sun is going down earlier these days, but it's going to get wet in the Champlain Valley over time here as well. Meanwhile, the steady rain we were dealing with earlier is on its way out of here. It's in New Hampshire for the most part. So with the exception of the storm areas, we're pretty much done with what we've been watching throughout the day. How much rain have we seen? Well, more than four tenths of an inch right in Burlington, about three tenths in Middlebury. Most of us a little bit less than that, although up in Messina, where we've had the storms, it's been a little bit wetter than that. All right, what say we jump across the lake here? This is a look from Plattsburgh, Lake Champlain out there. Look at the Green Mountains. You can actually see them now. That's a difference from a little bit earlier. The sun is back out because we've got a front that has gone on through, and slowly but surely, we will find some clearing overnight, if not sooner than that, for Many of us. So temperatures in the 50s and even the 60s right in the Champlain Valley. Messina right now is at 64 degrees. Well, the weekend is a coming, not tomorrow, but the day after that. So right around the corner here. Now, it looks like Saturday when you add it all up, the wetter of the two weekend days. Some scattered showers expected mainly during the afternoon. It's going to be the warmer of the two weekend days too. 74 that day and then mostly sunny second half of the weekend on Sunday, but the high just 63. So uh, pick your day. All right, tomorrow, that's what we're coming back to here. We know it's going to be a great day, up around 70 degrees, and we will see a ton of sun out there. Now, on our way to tomorrow, we've got to get rid of these showers and thunderstorms. 8 o'clock tonight, they're over the Champlain Valley, and then they go. There's your clearing. There is your mostly sunny day during the day tomorrow. Tomorrow night's going to be fine. A couple of clouds here and there, especially to the north. But Saturday by the afternoon, I think we've got those scattered showers that we will be dealing with. So most of the day, at least the first half of the day, is going to be okay as those clouds are thickening up. So clearing out there tonight, 40s for most of us to around 50 in Burlington, and then for tomorrow, I think it's going to be a sunny day. We're in great shape from Messina to Malone to Lake Placid, a little bit different than right now, to Plattsburgh. Figure 70 in Plattsburgh along with Burlington at 70, Lisbon 68, Lebanon at 72. We're looking good. Sunshine, Escutney at 70, and Bellows Falls at 72. Five-day forecast. 70 is going to do it for you tomorrow. Saturday, the clouds are thickening, mainly afternoon showers. 74 gets cooler Sunday, but that's going to be the brighter of the two weekend days. 63, increasing clouds Monday, and then we do have scattered rain showers for Tuesday. 70 degrees, still some showers Wednesday, then Thursday. We turn this thing around because the five-day forecast plus five. Look at next Thursday, then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All those days are looking pretty good.